Almost unviewable. It deals with two people, Tom and Jerry. There's the Polish cop who's played by Sudhir Babu as DCP Aditya. On the other hand, you have the other hero, Nani, who plays Vishnu the killer. The story is about whether the police can catch the aggressor, the killer, and it takes only cinematic police intelligence to understand that the killer is not just killing. Mohan Krishna Indra Ganti disappoints, disappoints largely, disappoints distinctly with his latest offering, V. The sign V or the letter from the alphabet, V, over here surely does not denote either peace or victory. I think it distinctly stands for the vanquished or the vain glorious. I do not understand this whole idea of a filmmaker getting people into a drawing room for he knows that today's cinema is on a platform from there you are watching this at home and not at a multiplex. Therefore, I again repeat, I do not understand why a filmmaker would have such exaggerated violence of faces being smashed with blood, gullets being cut with blood pouring. If this is somebody's idea of entertainment, then I think he needs to visit you know who. It also speaks poorly about a filmmaker's assessment of the viewer if he thinks that there is a violent voyeurism growing with a market in the country for that and a lot of people sit down to enjoy third rate violence in the name of cinema. Also, politely or under the cover, the filmmaker is again on very, very popular path, namely advocating anarchy as a possible solution to people who break the law. Politically incorrect, artistically incoherent, socially a malice. I think this is what V as a film is about. Unacceptable, almost unviewable. It deals with two people, Tom and Jerry. There's the Polish cop who's played by Sudhir Babu as DCP Aditya. On the other hand, you have the other hero, Nani, who plays Vishnu the killer. The story is about whether the police can catch the aggressor, the killer, and it takes only cinematic police intelligence to understand that the killer is not just killing people, but as a serial killer, he has a plan in action, and he has a set of people, and it is these set of people that he wants to kill. I would have thought a DCP, the role that Aditya is, the position that Aditya holds in the film, would have thought of connecting two crimes of a similar nature and it would have got him to the originator of the offense, but that is not to be. On the other hand, you have the killer on the prowl playing games with the police officer. He leaves behind the clue of his next victim and challenges the police officer to catch him if he can. Obviously, because the filmmaker wants to kill as many people in as many ways as he can, in as gaudy a fashion as he should, he's, the police officer is going to be found wanting. At the end of it, 
we have a summation conflict between the two, a strong scene about which the film runs. For example, Divar Mere Paas Ma Hai scene. In every film where a multi starer happens, you have the two actors who are the prime factors of the film. In a crucial scene where there is a strong stance taken by two of the actors to push home their talent. Silsila, take Jaya Baduri and Rekha fighting that famous scene or any Hindi film or Telugu film where the two protagonists have one strong scene. The one scene almost in the finale when these two characters meet, it's a dab squib. The best scene in the movie is the lovely blue waters as the titles come and the film fades away. I think that's the only scene worth watching. If you are committed to watching the film, be prepared to the fact that you're going to watch a lot of meaningless violence. You're going to watch a lot of meaningless, high degree violence. You're going to watch a lot of cliche stricken scenarios of how the police come beat up people, how they run, how they do this and that, which is elementary school cinema in this country. Unfortunately, from the performances, nobody, nobody lifts it to a level where they say, here is a film that goes over the script. Zanjeev comes to my mind. Maybe Prakash Menon didn't have a great script. Maybe Devanand or Rajkumar or Dharmendar had reasons to say no when they saw the film at the level of the script. This is with due apologies to some brilliant script writing by Salim Javed and Zanjeev. However, Amitabh Bachchan, when he comes out in Zanjeev, he overcomes whatever is there in the film and proves that an actor sometimes can gloss over a poor script. But that task in this film is given to Sudhir Babu, who is obviously no budget and no fault of his. I don't think the script even offers him that kind of space. It gives him more than the script writer more than the dialogue writer, more than the director. It's the stunt man who decides what's happening in the film. And that is a major drawback with me. If I were to choose for somebody, and if I were asked by a friend of mine, would you want me to go and see V? I would not only say don't, but I would strongly recommend and try to wean them away from the film. Reason, not just because the content is poor. I think the film has artistic dishonesty because it is so cliched, it is so full of what you always know, always see, that it is just another money making attempt with two actors of capacity and capability in the film but not utilized. As far as the heroines are concerned, you have Niveta Thomas and Aditi Rao Hyderi, both brought in as props in the film. They have nothing to do, they do nothing, and I don't think these heroines are either doing anything for their careers or for the cause of women empowerment in endorsing their presence in these kind of scripts. V is about the vanquished.